our world becoming more data driven and connected than ever, computing infrastructure has become increasingly important. Computing plays a vital role in technology and two terms that have gained a lot of attention are edge computing and cloud computing. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on edge computing versus cloud computing. Both edge computing and cloud computing are two different approaches to computing and data management while they have their unique benefits and drawbacks. It is essential to understand the differences between them to leverage their full potential. In this video, we will compare the two in detail to help you get a better understanding of which is suitable for your requirements. With that being said, let us take a look at the agenda for this video. First, we will start with what is edge computing, then we will talk about the benefits of edge computing, then we will look at the use cases of edge computing, then we are going to talk about what is cloud computing and we will look at the advantages of cloud computing. We will also take a look at the use cases of cloud computing and then we will look at edge computing versus cloud computing and with that we will conclude. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let us begin by talking about what is edge computing. Edge computing is a new computing paradigm that refers to a variety of networks and devices located at or near the user. Edge computing is about processing data closer to where it's generated, allowing for faster and larger processing speeds and volumes, resulting in more actionable results in real time. It has some distinct advantages over traditional models, which centralize computing power at an on-premise data center. By putting compute at the edge, businesses can improve how they manage and use physical assets while also creating new interactive human experiences. What are the benefits of edge computing? Starting with lower latency, processing data at the edge eliminates or reduces data travel. This can speed up insights for use cases requiring complex AI models with low latency. Second is reduced cost. When compared to cloud computing, using a local area network for data processing provides organizations with more bandwidth and storage at a lower cost. Third is accuracy of models. AI relies on high accuracy models, particularly for edge use cases that require real-time response. When a network's bandwidth is insufficient, it is usually remedied by reducing the size of data fed into a model. As a result, image sizes are reduced, video frames are skipped, and audio sample rates are reduced. Fourth is broader reach. Traditional cloud computing requires internet access. Edge computing, on the other hand, can process data locally without requiring internet access. This broadens computing's reach to previously inaccessible or remote locations. Finally, data sovereignty. Edge computing allows organizations to keep all of their sensitive data and compute inside the local area network and company firewall by processing data at the location where it is collected. This reduces exposure to cloud cybersecurity attacks and improves compliance with stringent and ever-changing data laws. Now we'll look at some of the use cases of edge computing. Starting with IoT or Internet of Things devices, edge computing is well suited for IoT devices that generate large amounts of data. By processing and analyzing data closer to the source, edge computing reduces the amount of data that needs to be sent to the cloud, minimizing latency and bandwidth requirements. Second is smart cities. Edge computing can be used to manage and process data from sensors and cameras deployed throughout a city. By analyzing data locally, edge computing can help cities become more efficient, safe and sustainable. Third is healthcare. Edge computing can be used in healthcare to process and analyze data from medical devices and wearables. By doing so, edge computing can enable faster diagnosis and treatment, improve patient outcomes and reduce costs. Fourth is industrial automation. Edge computing can be used to process data from sensors and other devices in industrial settings. By analyzing data locally, edge computing can enable faster time responses, reduce downtime, and improve efficiency. Finally, retail. Edge computing can be used in retail to process and analyze data from point of sale systems, cameras, and other devices. By doing so, edge computing can enable real-time inventory management, personalized customer experiences, and more. Now we'll move on to what is cloud computing. The term cloud computing refers to the storage and access of data and computing services via the internet. 
it does not save any information on your computer it refers to the on demand availability of computer services such as servers data storage networking and databases the primary goal of cloud computing is to provide many users with access to data centers users can also gain access to data stored on a remote server so what are the advantages of cloud computing first is scalability cloud computing allows organizations to scale their computing resources up or down based on their changing needs this means that they can easily handle increased demand without having to invest in expensive hardware second is cost savings by using cloud computing organizations can reduce their capital and operational expenses they don't need to invest in expensive hardware software licenses or maintenance which can save them a lot of money in the long run third is flexibility cloud computing provides a lot of flexibility in terms of where and when work can be done users can access cloud based applications and data from anywhere with an internet connection making it easy to work remotely or on the go fourth is disaster recovery cloud computing makes it easier for organizations to recover from disasters or other disruptions because data is stored in the cloud it can be quickly and easily accessed and restored even in the event of a natural disaster or system failure fifth is collaboration cloud computing allows teams to collaborate on projects in real time regardless of their physical location this can improve productivity and innovation by allowing people to work together more effectively finally automatic software updates cloud computing providers often take care of software updates and maintenance which can save organizations time and money this ensures that users always have access to the latest features and security updates now we'll look at some of the use cases of cloud computing starting with data storage and backup So cloud storage services like Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive offer users a way to store their files and data in the cloud, eliminating the need for physical storage devices. This also provides a backup solution for important data, reducing the risk of data loss. Second is application hosting and deployment. Cloud computing allows businesses to host and deploy their applications on cloud servers, reducing the need for on-premise infrastructure. This also enables businesses to scale their applications as needed, reducing the cost of hardware and maintenance. Third is virtualization. Cloud computing enables virtualization of servers and desktops, allowing users to access resources from anywhere in the world. This helps businesses reduce the cost of hardware and infrastructure while increasing flexibility and productivity. Fourth is artificial intelligence and machine learning. Cloud computing provides the processing power and storage required for artificial intelligence and machine learning applications. This enables businesses to train and deploy AI and ML models in the cloud, reducing the cost and complexity of on-premise infrastructure. Finally, disaster recovery. Cloud computing provides a disaster recovery solution for businesses, allowing them to replicate their data and infrastructure in the cloud. This ensures business continuity in case of a disaster, reducing the risk of downtime or data loss. Now we'll look at edge computing versus cloud computing. Edge computing and cloud computing are two distinct computing paradigms that have different architectures, capabilities, and use cases. Here's a detailed comparison of edge computing versus cloud computing. Starting with architecture, edge computing uses a distributed architecture where computing resources and data are stored and pre-processed locally on edge devices or servers. Cloud computing on the other hand relies on a centralized architecture where computing resources and data are stored in data centers and accessed over the internet. In terms of latency, edge computing can have low latency since data is processed and analyzed locally, reducing the need for data to travel back and forth over the network. Cloud computing on the other hand can have high latency due to the distance between the cloud data center and the end user device bandwidth requirements edge computing can have lower bandwidth requirements since data is processed and analyzed locally reducing the need for data to be transmitted over the network cloud computing on the other hand can have high bandwidth requirements since data needs to be transmitted to and from the cloud data center in terms of processing power 
Edge computing can have limited processing power since it relies on local computing resources, whereas cloud computing, on the other hand, can provide high processing power since computing resources can be scaled up or down as needed. Comparing the two in terms of security, edge computing can be more vulnerable to security threats since data is stored and processed on local devices that may have weaker security features. Cloud computing, on the other hand, can provide robust security since data is stored in secure data centers with advanced security features. Finally, comparing the use cases, edge computing is well suited for applications that require low latency, reduced bandwidth requirements, and real-time processing such as IoT, autonomous vehicles, and smart cities. Cloud computing is ideal for applications that require high processing power, large storage capacity, and high availability. So, in conclusion, edge computing and cloud computing are two different ways of processing and analyzing data, each with their own unique strengths. Edge computing is great for applications that require real-time processing, low latency, and high reliability, while cloud computing is ideal for large-scale processing and storage. Choosing the right technology depends on the specific needs of an organization or application. Edge computing provides better security for data generated at the edge of the network, while cloud computing provides better security for data stored in centralized data centers. Both technologies are becoming increasingly important as more and more data is generated and processed and organizations are leveraging them to create new and innovative applications. By understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each technology, organizations can choose the right one to meet their specific needs and achieve their goals. So with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.